I've got my hands on Huawei's new foldable phone that honestly has blown my mind. I've been a tech journalist or doing tech journalism for around 10 years now and no phone has challenged the way we use phones as much as this one. Specifically, it has in a way the Samsung Galaxy Fold hasn't because from every which angle you use it, it looks really freaking modern and the fit and finish is so good that in getting my hands on it, I didn't feel it was a prototype. Whereas no journalists or media or YouTubers have been allowed to actually engage Engage with the Samsung Galaxy Fold. So that level of openness that Huawei has given us has actually given us more confidence, given me more confidence in the product. Now, when it's closed, it's locked in place with a kind of system that requires a press to unlatch it. So this latches when it's closed fully, but what you get as a result of that is you get a almost completely folded experience. It has no gap between the top and bottom portion or a tiny minute gap that you don't even notice. Then you press the button, it unhinges a little bit and then folds out. There's kind of, I guess if you really look hard, uh, indication as to where that screen cre like a crease would be, but it's not bad, it's not discoloration. Huawei stress tested this to 100,000 folds and that really comes through. The hinge is, oh, is it a called falcon wing hinge? apparently, according to Huawei, defies physics because, and that makes sense because the outside has to kind of stretch in order to wrap around the screen. Um, and you don't, don't think about it. You just don't think about it when you actually use this phone because it feels really natural. The power button on the right hand side doubling up as a fingerprint scanner, you know it's got 4,500 milliamps of power in there. How well will that power an eight inch tablet? Probably not too well, but how well will it power a 6.4 or 6.6 inch screen phone really well? So I reckon the t battery's gonna be fine and kinda who cares because over 80% of power in just 30 minutes of charge, Huawei has thought about this through and through. The 5G on board is gonna download a movie that's one gigabyte in three seconds as well. It's gonna take um, nano uh, memory cards, so that's up to 256 gigabytes. I kind of just don't care about the specs that much. What I care about is the fact that the design feels and looks so well fit and finished. It's literally kind of blown my mind a little bit, in case you couldn't tell. I haven't been excited about tech in a while. I'm excited about Huawei and the Huawei Mate X. There. Hopefully you've enjoyed this blurb. Any questions about, it, about my experiences, please fire them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out like crazy and it's how you get to stay on top of everything that I do and everything that I do from Mobile World Congress 2019. Bye.